We sent the sample to the lab for nuclear magnetic resonance and infrared testing. Let's Skype them now to see what they found. Hi, Dr. Dillenbeck. Hi, guys. I've got something you're going to want to take a look at. We've got the IR spectrum here for your sample. Everything below 1500 is the fingerprint zone and will not be useful to us. This broad peak here, just before 3500, shows an OH peak. This peak over the 3000 line shows a carbon-hydrogen bond. It is an alkene. Finally, this peak around 1720 indicates a carbonyl. Now here's the NMR spectrum from your sample. This triplet signal here indicates a CH bond. Here we have a carbon-oxygen single bond just below 4 ppm and a carbon-oxygen double bond just above 4 ppm. This signal between 7 and 8 ppm indicates an aromatic region. This region is electron-rich because it leans more towards 7 ppm than 8 ppm. Here is your substance. Based on all these findings, we were able to confirm the composition of your sample. We compared NMR and IR spectra to data of some of our chemical weapons, and we got a match. This sample definitely contains chemical weapons. Thanks for all your work, Dr. Dylan Meck. Well, now we know for sure that they're smuggling chemical weapons. Plus, we've confirmed the identity of the property owner. She's a Russian spy working for the KGB. Let's go make an arrest. This has been a successful E1 reaction. We have eliminated one criminal. Oh.